Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chansom. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 28th of October. India holds first major state elections in Bihar since coronavirus outbreak. Mike Pompeo meets Sri Lankan President amid China concern in Indo-Pacific. And US envoy Khalil Zad calls for urgent reduction of violence in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. The first phase of voting in India's crucial Bihar state was held on Wednesday, the country's first key election since the outbreak of coronavirus. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party currently rules Bihar with an ally but is facing a united opposition. The voting in the state will be held over three phases and the results are expected on November 10. India's Eastern Bihar a politically crucial state underwent the first phase of polls on Wednesday, the first major election in the country since the coronavirus outbreak. Bihar, which is India's third most populous state, has recorded more than 200,000 coronavirus infections. Scores of people turned up to vote on Wednesday while following COVID-19 protocols. The polling for the 243 assembly seats in Bihar is divided into three phases and the results will be declared on November 10. Polling stations were sanitized at regular intervals. Every voter had to undergo thermal screening, hand sanitization, and those coming without masks were given masks and gloves at the booths by poll officials. Shiksha ke taraf dhyan diya jai, rojgar ke taraf dhyan diya jai, bijli pani aur sarak nirman ye sab mein jada focus ho. Meanwhile, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi held election rallies in other parts of the state on Wednesday. Bihar is a key electoral battleground where Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party has been in power for more than a decade as a partner in an alliance with regional party, the Janata Dal United. The polls pit the ruling alliance against united opposition led by regional Rashtriya Janata Dal teamed up with the Indian National Congress. Two terrorists belonging to Pakistan-based Jashe Mohammed terror outfit were neutralized in an encounter in Badgam district of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory on Tuesday night. The encounter broke out after a terrorist fired upon security forces who were conducting search operations in Chadura area of Badgam based on specific inputs. One soldier was injured and two terrorists were killed in the gunfight that ensued, police said. Operations were still underway in the area on Wednesday. India has long accused Pakistan of training and infiltrating terrorists across the border to spread unrest in Kashmir Valley. Pakistan, however, denies the allegations. In counter, there are two terrorists. Two terrorists are in the outfit. There is an identification of Pakistan. They are Pakistani. They are called Khalid Elias. The other is the South Kashmir Pulma district. Javed. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo held talks with President Gotabaya Rajpaksa in the Sri Lankan capital, Colombo, on Wednesday on a range of bilateral issues. Pompeo's two-day visit to the island nation comes at a time as America seeks to balance China's growing influence in the region and to advance the common goals for a free and open Indo-Pacific. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who arrived in Sri Lanka on Tuesday for a two-day visit, met with the Sri Lankan President Gautapaya Rajapaksa for discussions in capital Colombo on Wednesday. Both the leaders discussed the economic partnership based on transparent trade and investment, key components of the post-pandemic economic recovery, as well as a shared commitment to democratic freedoms. The meeting took place after China raised objections on Monday to what it called U.S. bullying of Sri Lanka after Washington said the Indian Ocean Island must make difficult but necessary choices regarding its ties with China. 
Pompeo later met with Sri Lanka's Foreign Minister Dinesh Gunuwardena and reaffirmed United States' commitment to a sovereign and secure Sri Lanka. Indeed, a strong, sovereign Sri Lanka is a powerful and strategic partner for the United States on the world stage. It can be a beacon for a free and open Indo-Pacific. Look, that's quite a con contrast to what China seeks. Uh, we, we see from bad deals, violations of sovereignty, and lawlessness on land and sea that the Chinese Communist Party is a predator. And the United States comes in a different way. We come as a friend and as a partner. Sri Lanka is a neutral, non-aligned country committed to peace, as I mentioned earlier. On that principle, we hope to continue with our relations with the United States and other countries. The talks were followed by a visit to the St. Anthony's Church, one of the places targeted by suicide bombers last year. After Sri Lanka, Pompeo travels to the Maldives and then to Indonesia and Vietnam. As anger continues to surge over cartoons of Islam's most revered prophet in France, protesters across Pakistan called for a boycott of French goods and the severing of diplomatic ties between the two countries. In Bangladesh, thousands of protesters marched in capital Dhaka on Tuesday in response to France's stance on cartoon draw. Crowds of chanting protesters in Pakistan's port city of Karachi burned an effigy of French President Emmanuel Macron on Tuesday as anger surged throughout the Muslim world over his comments following the murder of a teacher. Protesters across Pakistan have called for a boycott of French goods and the severing of diplomatic ties between the two countries. The row has its roots in a knife attack outside a French school on October 16, in which a man of Chechen origin beheaded Samuel Petty, a teacher who had shown pupils cartoons of Prophet Muhammad in a civics lesson on freedom of speech. Macron has pledged to fight Islamist separatism, saying it was threatening to take over some Muslim communities in France, comments which have sparked anger among some Muslims. اس واقعے کی شدید مذمت کرتے ہیں اور حکومت پاکستان سے یہ کہتے ہیں کہ وہ فل فور فرانس کے سفارتکار کو برطرف کرے اور فرانس سے اپنی تمام تجارتی سیاسی جو معاشی جو روابط ہیں اس کو ختم کرے ان بنگلہ دیش تھاؤزنڈز آف پروٹیسٹرز مارسٹ ان کیپٹل ڈھاکہ آن ٹیوز ڈے اگنس دی امیجز بینگ ڈسپلیٹ ان فرانس آف دی پروفیٹ محمد the demonstrators were supporters of the Islamic Constitution movement in Bangladesh and marched towards the French embassy in Dhaka before police stopped them at one point. France has warned its citizens living or travelling in several Muslim-majority countries to take extra security precautions because of a surge of anger over cartoon row. Moving on, Pakistan's National Command and Operations Centre on Wednesday approved the use of antigen testing for coronavirus patients a day after government said that second wave of coronavirus has begun in the country. As active cases of COVID-19 surpassed the 11,600 mark, Pakistan administered Kashmir, the region under Pakistan's illegal control, which has poor healthcare infrastructure, reported 3,889 confirmed cases. Pakistan's NCOC National Command and Operations Center noted on Wednesday that the spread of the coronavirus and the increased positivity ratio is 80 percent in 11 major cities. On Tuesday, Special Assistant to the Prime Minister Imran Khan on Health Dr. Faisal Sultan formally announced that the second wave of the deadly virus has started in the country as active cases of COVID-19 surpassed the 11,000 mark. In Pakistan-administered Kashmir, COVID-19 cases continue to rise as well, with Muzaffarabad district reporting 809 cases, the highest in the illegally occupied region. Both the patients are home isolated, and from them, the serious ones are shifting. The number of patients is increasing. The 
उसका रीज़न यही है कि हम लोगों ने एस ओ पीज़ को फॉलो करना छोड़ दिया है क्योंकि सेकेंड लेयर है ये ज़्यादा शदीद है और इस वक्त हम मुजफ्फराबाद टॉप ऑफ द लिस्ट हैं तो इसमें मेरे सब लोगों से ये रिक्वेस्ट है सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग फेस मास्क और अननेसेसरी मूवमेंट्स को रिस्ट्रिक्ट करें मीन वाइल हेल्थ ऑफिशियल्स हैव इंडिकेटेड दैट इफ द नंबर ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन केसेस कंटिन्यू टू इंक्रीज द गवर्नमेंट वुड हैव नो ऑप्शन बट टू टेक अनपॉपुलर डिसीजन ड्यू टू विच द कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी वुड बी अफेक्टेड न्यूज फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad said on Tuesday that violence in Afghanistan was too high, and the Afghan government and the Taliban insurgents must work harder towards forging a ceasefire at the peace talks. U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad said on Tuesday that violence in Afghanistan was too high, and the Kabul government and Taliban insurgents must work harder towards forging a ceasefire. at the peace talks Khalil Zad in a series of tweets said I returned to the region disappointed that despite commitments to lower violence it has not happened the window to achieve a political settlement will not stay open forever the talks between an afghan government delegation and the taliban have been going on in doha since mid september but progress has been slow and diplomats and officials have warned that rising violence back home is sapping trust on tuesday in two separate car bombings at least five afghan special force members were killed in khost province and three civilians were killed in capital kabul but it was not immediately clear who was behind the attacks the united nations also released sobering statistics on tuesday highlighting that nearly 6000 afghan civilians were killed or wounded in the first 9 months of 2020 as heavy fighting rages on despite efforts for peace despite the reopening of economy amid the covid-19 pandemic businesses like firecracker factories in india's western ahmedabad city continue to face financial difficulties even as the festival of lights diwali approaches firecracker manufacturers in india's western ahmedabad city are disappointed as the stock has been piling up at the manufacturing units at a time when a few weeks are left for the hindu festival of lights diwali as there are not many buyers amid the corona virus pandemic the units which used to get orders for firecrackers worth millions of dollars are now struggling to survive as the pandemic has brought their business to a complete halt manufacturers said there has been very less production of fresh firecrackers this year due to a fall in the number of orders because of the pandemic only a handful of workers were seen making firecrackers in the units is bar corona ke liye koi bhi hamara order hai nahi na har na pichle barso ki tarah se is saal hamara koi order nahi hai aur sitte daga hamara kaam ek baar kam hai har bar hamara 20 mazdoor kaam karte hai uski jagah bhi 12 mazdoor kaam kar rahe hai na bhi hum 4 din ke baad mein hum kaam band kar rahe hai koi isko ke koi bhi ghara ki diwali ki pataki koi khareed nahi raha hai Diwali is celebrated with great fervor and gaiety all over India as it marks the return of Hindu Lord Rama to Ayodhya in northern India after he defeated Ravana the powerful demon king devotees decorate their homes with oil and electric lamps worshiping Lord Rama and celebrate by bursting firecrackers at homes with family and friends Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening Before we conclude the top stories once again. India holds first major state elections in Bihar since coronavirus outbreak. Mike Pompeo meets Sri Lankan president amid China concern in Indo-Pacific. And US envoy Khalil Zad calls for urgent reduction of violence in Afghanistan. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com you can also visit us on facebook.com/asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline that's all in tonight's edition we will see you same time tomorrow good night subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button 
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन